are you studying a stem related course are you a woman then we are going to be talking about money 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 <laughs> that's what today's video is about i'm going to be talking about seven scholarships that you can leverage as a woman studying a stem related course and welcome back to my channel my name is Oluwa Yeti. in this channel I give tips for students that are studying abroad and I also give tips for tech career related courses so the tips that I give for the education part of my channel is to talk about scholarships is to give tips for um, how you write a scholarship essays or motivation letters for your admission if you're new here a huge welcome to you thank you for joining the tribe please don't forget to like comment share and you know subscribe <laughs> and if you've been part of the tribe it's a huge pleasure to have you here again so what are we talking about today are you studying a stem related course are you a woman then we are going to be talking about money 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 <laughs> that's what today's video is about i'm going to be talking about seven scholarships that you can leverage as a woman studying a stem related course if this sounds like you then you want to stay tuned remember we're talking about the money today the first on my list is the adobe women in tech scholarship adobe is actually a multinational is an american multinational computer software company and this scholarship consists of a ten thousand dollars monetary fund and a chance to actually in do your internship with adobe followed up with a mentor i would strongly advise that you check this out the eligibility is that you are in your undergraduate or you are a master's student at a north american university and this consists of the canada and the mexico so please do check this out i applied to these when i got my master's admission in 2018 i got to the semi-final stage but i didn't make it to the last quarter, and that's fine there are other scholarships that i applied to that i got into and i'm also going to be mentioning the scholarships in this video as well the second scholarship that I'm going to be talking about today is, is the Google Generation Scholarship, formerly known as the Women Tech Maker Scholarship. I got this in 2019, so trust me, I have a lot to say about it. It is divided into three regions. You have the EMEA, which is the Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and you have the North America, the one for the North America region and the one for the Asia Pacific. For the one in the EMEA, you get a 7,000 euros. So that means you are a student from the EMEA region. The second one is that you are from a North American university. So for if you're in the US, you get 10,000 US dollars. If you are schooling in Canada, you get 5,000 Canadian dollars. If you are from the Asia Pacific region, you get $1,000. The eligibility, of course, is that first you're a woman and you can be enrolled in an undergraduate um, stem program or a master's stem program or even a phd stem program from the monetary fund you are actually going to get a visit to the google office where you get to meet the google engineers and you get to see what a day life is like in the google office in your region so for me i was flown to the uk where i met google engineers where i was able to see the office and also meet fellow scholars like me and also get to have like lightning talks for women in tech the third scholarship that i'm going to be talking about is the top tier women in tech scholarship i got this in 2016 and it's a monetary fund during my time of five thousand dollars and an access of one year to a top tier mentor now it is actually ten thousand dollars and this is for any women both in university or out of university when i got the scholarship i was actually working at that time as a software engineer so it had nothing to even do with if you are a student or not but if you are a student you are allowed if you are not a student you are allowed to apply and and please do check that out i strongly recommend this as well because i went through the program i had access to a mentor who helped me upskill my um, technical skills in machine learning and ai so please do check that out and all the best fourth scholarship is the DeepMind 
scholarship. DeepMind is actually a, a company from Google that focuses on artificial intelligence research and robotics research. Now, they have partnered with different universities from different regions, which are the Europe, the Middle East, North America, South America, and Africa. Now, they have partnered uh, with different universities in these regions, and what they're trying to do is to get underrepresented groups to study courses in AI and related um, courses like maybe computer science or computer engineering or mechatronics engineering, for example. So you do want to check that out. They are specifically for master's students and PhD students. So if you are from the five regions that I mentioned and you are looking to study a course in AI or robotics or other um, related courses, then you want to look at their partner universities. This is a bit different because it's not monetary. They are just responsible for your school fees and then a stipend that is given to you every year so you want to check this out if you are looking to study a course in AI or robotics or related courses in all of the regions that I've mentioned because the scholarship is only tied to the universities that they have partnered with apart from studying in these universities you would also have access to a deep mind mentor that is a mentor from deep mind and i think it also comes with an internship as well so do check that out the fifth scholarship is women at microsoft scholarship we all know that microsoft is also a tech company and they have this scholarship for women that are studying at a university in the United States. So this is also a bit different. You have to be studying at the, any university in the United States. This is strictly for undergraduates. So they pay you $5,000 for every year in college or in, in university. It could be a public university or a private university. But remember that you have to be schooling in the United States of America and you have to be an undergraduate student that is studying a STEM related course or a course in computing, for example. So all the best if you're applying. The sixth scholarship is the Zonta Women in Tech Scholarship. Now, this is a scholarship for any woman of any age, of any nationality, and from you can be studying in any part of the world. The monetary value is $8,000, and it is, like I said, it is for any woman that is studying a course in tech or in IT. So I'm not, it's, it doesn't cover like the STEM world, but it covers those in the IT who are studying something in the IT or in the tech space. So do check that out. The seventh and the last scholarship is the Schlumberger Foundation Scholarship. It's also a bit different because it is for those who are in PhDs or postdoctoral researchers in the STEM field. But there is something that makes it stop all of the previous scholarships that I've talked about. And it is that it is a monetary value. That is the grant can be up to $50,000 per year for PhDs or $40,000 per year for postdoctoral researchers. How amazing is that? So do check that out, just share to anyone who is studying or looking to study a PhD in a STEM related field. So to wrap up this video, I have two tips to give you. If you look at the links of some of the scholarships, you will see that some of them, they are already closed or they are not yet open. One thing that I would like to um, tell you is to put the date. So how you how do you do that? Look at the scholarships, look at the previous years, look at when it was open in the previous years. Try to set a calendar invite to yourself for that period so that when the time comes, you are reminded or you, you're reminded to keep checking the website. So that is number one tip, which I also used to do while I was a student. The second thing is that all of them have different criteria. Some of them you may need to um, put up a video to um, explain your motivation letter. An example is the Adobe and the Microsoft, which I did. The second thing is that you may be asked to write different essays where they've asked you different questions. So always make sure that you put in your best into the essays. I review essays for free and if you would like me to review your essay, I'm going to put the link to submit your essay in the description as well. So are you going to apply for any 
of the scholarship i want to see it in the comment below let me know the one you're applying to and uh, maybe i may even decide to do an elaborate um, explanation on each of them if i see that there are a number of people who are applying for that scholarship the example is the google generation scholarship i have gone through that so i am very sure that i may have a lot of tips to share in that aspect so if you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching thank you for supporting please like please comment i want to see your comment if you've applied to any before even if you didn't get in please do share your experience with any scholarship if you have other scholarships that i've not mentioned that you think that other women should know please put the link i'll be very glad and also if you have any tips that you think that other people should know about please put it in the comment do like do share do subscribe do comment and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching peace out